what is up christine crew welcome back to the channel so today we're making photo charms so here i'm showing you guys our tray charms you guys will need a necklace of your choice for your pendant you will also need a jump or split ring if you choose to use the type of tray that i'm using you will need you some round nose or flat nose pliers so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make um photo tray charms pendants this is a highly requ uh, requested video so i want to go ahead and get it out to you guys today also i use resin to cure my pendants um and you will need some super glue i will show that soon and you will need a uv light and you will need clear dome so here i already have my pictures pre-printed for you guys as you can see so i'm showing you guys that right now the pre-printed and you will need scissors as well. So here I'm going ahead and I'm taking out the trays, choosing the color that I want. Of course, if you guys know your girl, I am a silver girl. So we will be using our silver tray charms for this pendant. Also, I have some clear round domes. You guys can find all these items on our website. Also on our Etsy store if you want to do this at home. So right here I'm going to show you guys how I cut out the picture. So what you do is you place your dome on top of the picture. You center it to where you feel like it's perfect and then you just cut around. So as you guys can see, it's not going to be a perfect circle. It will be a little jagged at the end, but you're trimming it around to fit the clear dome. And that's the easy way I can say you guys can do it. Um, That's very easy for me. Um, It makes more sense. You know what I'm saying? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So after you go ahead and cut out the picture, you're going to go ahead and place it in your tray. You place it in your tray, make sure it's even, make sure it fits. Okay, boom, how I'm showing you guys. Now you pick up your clear dome and you stick it on top to see how it looks. To make sure you can't see the outline of the pictures or nothing. So now we're going to use super glue. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, you guys know that I, you guys do not know that I am a very, um high advocate for gel super glue y'all i'm stuttering gel super glue so we're gonna go ahead and set the picture on make sure it's even in the center and then we're gonna go ahead and stick that bad boy into the uv light as you guys will see coming up make sure you guys press it down and make sure the glue spreads evenly so i'm being any humps so we're gonna do the exact same thing for the next picture and again, like I said, it will come out jacket. That is perfectly fine. Your customer or you or whoever you're making it for will not see the jackedness of the photo due to the fact that the clear dome actually magnifies the photo, if you guys do not know. So the edges will never be seen. That's why it really doesn't matter um, how jagged it is on the outside. As long as you can't see, see it in the dome, which that's why I put the picture in the dome, I mean in the tray first, and put the dome on top before curing to make sure that it fits perfectly. So I'm going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to put it in the center, make sure it looks good, put the clear dome on top, and boom. As you guys can see, oops, as you guys can see, you can't see anything. So now we're going to go ahead again and glue down this photo. Again, I do recommend gel super glue because you have a little more control over it. Um, I find this at my local dollar store. Um, if you guys do not have this glue at your local dollar store, you can use regular glue. But just use less because you know you really can't tame the loose super glue. So go ahead and press it down. Make sure the glue is spread out evenly. Then we're going to go ahead and cure that super glue right onto that tray. So now we're about to go into the next step of doing your tray pendant. So I use this less resin, uh, cure resin, UV cure resin, which is my favorite resin to, this resin is not new to this channel. Um, I use this resin all the time. So you're going to put a little dab, you know, a little dab, a little sauce, sauce, put a little dab there. And then once, I don't know, one of these I put too much on. And it was this one. No, it wasn't. It was the other one. I put way too much on. So I'm going to leave this video as is. No edits. Y'all getting raw cut footage. So 
of course, this one I actually did put too much on. So, you guys, what Risen, which what I love about Risen, Risen cures clear. So, if you put too much, it will not be noticeable, okay? Um, some people use diamond glaze. Some people use a whole bunch of other stuff. This is some a method that I came with on my own. I've never seen no one use Risen. But I had so much Risen in my shop, I was like, you know what? We're going to put this to use. So, as you guys can see, after I cleaned out the excess Risen, I went ahead and popped that clear dome on top and then you consistently wipe it make sure you wipe it smoothly so when it does cure it cures without bumps and roughs so the uh resin is going to go ahead and stick it together and then you're going to go ahead and place it in your uv light for about three rounds you guys are going to see that here um 390 you know 360 second rounds so we're going to do the same for this one which i think this one i put too much to Cause I was trying to talk and multitask. I had company. I was trying to get a video out quick to you all. Cause I'm trying to sell my schedule. But um, so we're gonna do the same thing here. So I'm actually showing you guys how I rotate the resin around the picture. That is something I started doing that was kind of new. Usually I just put a dab and go ahead and stick the um, clear dome on top. But I want the resin to be evenly distributed around the tray, which gives it a very better silk altogether look, if you ask me. So go ahead and pop that clear dome on top. Um, you may have a little run over, so I always have you a napkin or a piece of paper on the side. Just in case that happens. So as you guys see here, I am cleaning up the tray and the dome. Make sure we can get as much off as possible. Um, UV Risen cures very quickly. So you have to work fast. That is my biggest tip for you all if you're going to use this method that I'm showing you all today. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cure them both together. Um, and I'm probably going to fast forward this part because I'm going to cure about three times. And then we'll come back and show you guys the finished look. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all follow your girl on social media. Make sure you guys follow me on Clubhouse at Real Queen Tracy. Make sure you guys follow all of my Instagram pages. Christine Creations 22, The Real Queen Tracy, D. Cole Boo Consulting, and the cc collection you guys um our code line will be launching in april our charm store at wholesale store will be back opening at the end of the month um we have so much in store for you guys so please just stay tuned we have new items coming um accessories and bags for our clothing line will be launching in february just in time for valentine's day so make sure you guys stay tuned i will be doing more videos geared towards our new upcoming business ventures and we may be back selling hair soon so you guys just stay tuned and go ahead and enjoy the video thank you guys so much i love you all Mwah. Alright you guys, so the tr the trays and the pendants are done curing. So I'm just showing you guys how they look, how they turned out. Um, Jamal's talking to me right now in this video. He brought me a little, a little margarita, you know what I'm saying. Um, like I was telling you guys, we did have company um, the day I did this video. That is the purpose of this voiceover. But yes, that's the first one. And then the second one, which is my favorite one. Y'all have not took this um, pendant off since I made it. I love this one. Also, I was rocking my boyfriend's clothing brand in that photo. But now we're going to go ahead and get your split ring. And go ahead. We're going to go ahead and attach it to our pendant. Um, this is not a traditional pendant because this has like a hook. Um, more closer to a regular charm. I like these better. They're blingy. They're cute. And they draw attention. So we're going to do the same thing for both. Um, use a split ring. I do recommend a split ring. If you do not have a split ring, you can always use a jump ring. But a split ring will guarantee that it won't go nowhere, sis. Okay? 
So for this video, as you guys see on the table, that I am using some chain uh, necklaces that I have that I used to sell, honestly. These are some old chains, you guys. Um, so we're going to go ahead and attach it on to there. And then, y'all, this is the end of the video. Like, this is so quick, so simple, so fun. These are the best gifts to give. This is a gift that keeps on giving. Especially if you give it to someone who had someone that passed away, have a picture of them. This is the perfect gift, you all. Everyone will love this gift. Um, I made about three or four of them for my um friend's boyfriend, one of his daughter, one with him and his mom, one with um him and my friend, and he loved them, you guys. He was addicted. So this is a great item to add to your store. Um, this is a great thing to do as a side hustle too, you guys, if you want to focus just more on this. Um, this is a great thing to do. And it also makes people feel good at the end of the day. So again, while you guys are here, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video helped you all. Um, I hope I gave you all a different method that you have not seen for these photo pendants. Again, this is the method that I came up, came up with. Um, I haven't seen no one else do this method. If so, please comment below and let your girl know. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys later.